None of the producers have any financial interest in the products or procedures shown. Subluxated cataracts are challenging at every step, right from construction of capsulorexis to IOL insertion. The greatest concern, however, is stabilization of the bag during and after surgery. Greater surgical expertise required, longer surgical time, suture-related problems, and delayed IOL subluxation are limitations of suture fixation of the capsular bag to the scleral wall. We now describe this new glued endocapsular hemi-ring segment that we have designed for sutureless fibrin glue-assisted transcleral fixation of the capsular bag. This allows stabilization of the bag intraoperatively as well as postoperatively. This is a single piece structure made of polyvinylidene fluoride wound into the desired configuration. We use this device in patients with subluxated cataracts. A partial thickness scleral flap is made, centered on the area of missing or weak zonules. A capsulorexis is created, taking care to avoid making it unduly large or small or extending too much to the periphery. Excessive traction on the zonules should be avoided. A gentle capsule cleaving hydrodissection is performed, taking care not to churn the cortex. A sclerotomy is made under the scleral flap with a 20 gauge needle about 1.5 mm from the limbus. The two arms of the ring segment are inserted into the capsula fornix. The haptic is exteriorized out through the sclerotomy. Once the rexus margin is engaged by the scrolls, pulling on the exteriorized haptic pulls the entire capsula bag complex and centers it. A 26 gauge needle is used to make a scleral tunnel at the edge of the flap. The haptic is trimmed to the desired length and tucked into the scleral tunnel. Anterior vitrectomy is done in case of vitreous prolapse into the anterior chamber. Phaco emulsification is then carried on as usual, followed by epinucleus and cortex aspiration. By being a hemi ring in extent, it provides better expansion of the fornix and decreased chances of fornicial or capsular bag aspiration into the phaco tip, while at the same time decreasing the chances of vitreous prolapse through the area of dialysis. It thus gives both horizontal and vertical stability as well as decreases the flaccidity of the posterior capsule despite being a segment and not a complete ring. We designed this new device using PVDF of about 130 microns diameter, the same material and gauge used for manufacturing IOL haptics. It hence has a long and safe track history of biocompatibility within the eye. Our experience with the glued IOL over the last four years, as well as that reported by Chariot et al., has shown that this material is biocompatible within the scleral wall and remains in place without any significant long-term issues. Elimination of sutures does away with all post-operative suture-related complications. We also use this technique for subluxated in-the-bag IOL. Space is created in the bag with viscoelastic aided dissection and the glued ECHR segment is implanted into the bag in a manner similar to that described previously. Just as in scleral fixation via sutures, here too, accurate placement of the flap is important to avoid decentration of the bag IOL complex. Even in case of a malpositioned flap, we found it easy to just create a new flap, interiorize, and then re-exteriorize the haptic of the device through the new, correctly positioned sclerotomy. Further centering of the bag is adjusted, if desired so, by adjusting the degree of tuck of haptic into the scleral tunnel. The flexibility of the material allows it to be inserted through the main port by fishtailing it in one-handed technique, similar to the two-handed technique for PMM. A rings described by Brian Little. 
The double scrolls of the device engage the capsulorexis rim in an atraumatic manner, similar to the manner in which the single scroll of the malugin ring engages the pupillary border for pupil expansion. The larger gauge fixation as compared to 10-0 or 9-0 proline or 8-0 Gore-Tex sutures also allows for more sturdy and robust fixation of the capsular bag to the scleral wall. In our experience, the glue DCHR segment also gave greater stability intraoperatively to the bag for all the maneuvers that are required for a FACO. Also, as the haptic is anchored in the sclera along its length, the chances of a post-operative drop of the ECR into the vitreous are also less as compared to endocapsular ring. The centration of the capsular bag is easily and rapidly adjustable at any stage by simply adjusting the tuck of the haptic, unlike in sutured capsular fixation where once suture is tied down, Readjusting centration of the capsular bag is more complicated and takes considerable extra time and effort by the surgeon. The other advantage that the glued ECHR segment has is the ease and rapidity of surgery. It does away with the use of sutures and difficult to maneuver long and thin needles that are used for sutured scleral fixation of endocapsular rings. To conclude, subluxated cataracts are a surgical challenge. The glued ECHR has given encouraging results for sutureless fibrin glue assisted transcleral fixation of the capsular bag.